What's up guys, so just a quick update here, I wanted to talk about some new upcoming Jack Specific figures. Uh, some of this stuff I talked about before at San Diego Comic Con, but we actually got some better images of a lot of these products and some other stuff also got revealed recently, which is another reason why I'm doing this video. So let's just get into it real quick. I'll start off with The Simpsons since this stuff uh, was revealed like just recently really so this was actually an ad that jack specific posted i believe it was already posted on amazon but they you know they upload on their youtube channel but they also showed off wave two of the five inch figures so uh, it's actually a lot different than i what i thought it was going to be but uh wave two consists of a reprint of homer so homer is going to be uh, another re-release here from wave one uh, the next figure is lisa then it's crusty the clown and then it's mo so that's actually going to be the full lineup for wave two and the reason why i know this is because amazon listed this as a bundle and this was before the ad was even like posted but uh, amazon listed this as a bundle pack that you could buy and it does include uh homer lisa crusty and mo so those characters were listed as wave two i only assumed bartman was part of wave two just because walmart had him listed as wave two but uh, it turns out bartman is just a variant uh, for Bart in wave one so I don't know if like this chase variant thing is going to happen in every wave I'm not sure but if it is going to happen that I would assume maybe Homer or Lisa is going to end up being a chase variant at some point I honestly don't know honestly I have no idea it's also weird because they didn't even like talk about Bartman at all they didn't even show him in the ad here so I I, I don't know it, it's kind of weird but I'm definitely looking forward to wave two. I really liked wave one. So, you know, I'm also going to be really excited for, you know, what other characters we're going to be getting here. So, you know, of course, Lisa's coming with her saxophone. Uh, Krusty the Clown is coming with the mic and in the stand, uh, which is something we got with the Tuxedo Playmates uh, Krusty figure. And then we got Mo, which is coming with a telephone, which is uh, similar to the Playmates one, except that one was a different phone. And that was also like black, too. So, yeah, those are the figures right there. Uh, really looking forward to these. That's uh, so cool that we're getting uh, like all these figures so early like this compared to, you know, what Super 7 was offering, which is crazy. Uh, but, man, they they really got to do something uh, with the expressions on these figures. I, I'm just not really a fan of these, especially Lisa. Like, she just looks like she has no soul. And she also just looks way too big next to the Homer figures. Yeah, so, again, wave two of the five-inch Simpsons figures is Homer lisa crusty the clown and mo now for the super mario figures uh we got a better image of wave 41 of the four inch figures so again these were revealed at san diego comic con but we do got a better look at how the fire mario and the fire luigi figure looks and i gotta say these actually look really good i, I really really like these head sculpts here uh, i really wish luigi came with an angry expression as well i thought that would have been nice if they did that but you know luigi keeps getting you know the same expression really but the mario does look pretty nice and i do like uh the fireball uh that the figures come with and i don't know so far these do look pretty nice i really do like these but man i, I only wish luigi also came with an angry expression i think these would have been really good together uh, if luigi also came uh with an angry expression but these do look pretty good i'm actually really looking forward to these uh this wave is after uh the wave with the green shy guy so just keep that in mind. Uh, so it, it'll probably be a while until we see this wave. Uh, Entertainment Earth has this entire wave uh, up for pre-order if you want to check that out. Uh, they have it slated for November, but that could just be a placeholder date because a lot of the stuff that they put up is also November. So, uh, you know, that's probably why I'm just assuming it's just a placeholder date. But that is wave 41 of the Super Mario 4 inch figures. So, you know, this wave has Fire Mario, Fire Luigi, Princess Peach, Larry Koopa, and then Boo now for the sonic stuff uh we actually got an image of a new uh, multi-pack here this is a new 10 pack it's similar to what they did with the classic figures but now they're doing the modern figures this time so this is a new uh 10 pack of the modern figures so you can see that we you know we are getting uh tails knuckles sonic silver amy and then a dark chow rouge dr eggman shadow and then metal sonic so this new multi-pack will probably replace the classic one you know you'll probably see this at target uh, at some point later this year but yeah this is a new modern pack which is really cool 
we also got a better image of wave 19 of the two and a half inch line so this is the wave that has the new rocky figure and it also does come with a stand and a ring and we also got an image of how that looks in the packaging which is really cool another image we got here is wave 18 of the four inch figures so this is the one that has the new classic metal sonic and classic amy figure uh, classic metal sonic i know was leaked before i did talk about that one but we now have a better image of how the four inch uh, classic amy figure looks uh, similar to their two and a half inch figures you know just added articulation and then just you know a little bit bigger as well uh, but that's pretty much how the figures are and she comes with a yellow chaos emerald and yeah, I want to say that was just the new stuff right there. So yeah, like I said, just a small little update on some new stuff that is going to be coming in pretty soon, uh, along with some new images uh, that's a lot more better uh, quality than what we've seen at San Diego Comic-Con. Let me know what are your thoughts on this in the comments down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until then, take care, my friends.